Hello, Hugziller here again for another video on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Thursday was the official release of Update 1.41. While there was not a heavy amount of items included in this update, there were a few gameplay aspects I wanted to talk about that will change how the game is played in the future. The first item to discuss is changes to the quick travel function. Previously, this was located in Garage Manager. Now there is an icon on the main page for your driver profile to do the quick traveling. The big difference that will impact all future gameplay is that time no longer advances like before. Now you pay a small fee to quick travel. I personally used to use quick travel before this update to increase my bank account quickly by quick traveling between Aberdeen, Scotland and Istanbul in Turkey. As my employed drivers would still make deliveries in the meantime while the time advanced. Additionally, I would use this option if there was a certain route I needed that was not currently appearing in the quick jobs, freight market, or the cargo market. I could use this method to advance the day of the week quickly and check on the jobs for the route I needed. The only positive aspect I could think of with this change from loss of time to loss of money for quick travel is the ability to pick up routes that might be across the map. For example, if you are in Aberdeen, Scotland, and you see a very profitable route in Istanbul, Turkey, using quick travel would have prevented you from acquiring that route as the number of days would have passed before that route expired. With this change, you would immediately end up in Istanbul, Turkey, and for the small fee, nothing would change on the day of the week allowing you to complete the much more profitable route. I will have to play around with this aspect some more to see if there's any more positive or negatives. For the people that like to advance time using quick travel, the only method I can think of to advance time is to quick travel to a garage that has a rest area attached. Then use the emergency tow option four times enough to get your time below the nine hours needed for time to rest. Then drive to the rest parking spot, rest three times, then check to see if the route you need is available. If the route does not pop up, then you're gonna have to repeat this whole process over and over again, starting at the emergency tow step. This is much, much slower than before, but if anybody has a better method, please drop me a comment below. The second item I want to mention is the change to the icons. As you can see here, the icons have been freshened up a bit and look a little more professional, if that's the right word. The next item is the changes to the A24 route east of Porto in Portugal, as shown here on the map. The last item to discuss is the new multiplayer convoy option. I'm not too familiar with this option just yet as I just started playing around with it tonight, but it looks like you can have up to eight people from around the world in your convoy delivering what looks to be the same item or a different item as a part of your convoy. If there is any big updates or tips or tricks, I will um, try and put out another video. Thank you for listening to this quick video on Euro Truck Simulator 2, the 1.41 update. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button. If you want to share your experience or have a question, please leave a comment below and please consider subscribing. See you next time.